concept of creating a widget, we're going to look at some of the more advanced features, such as adding CSS code and actually styling the inspector so that it looks a little bit more organized. So in this case, we'll go back to our widget settings. And in the bottom right, we have this button that lets us add additional properties. In this case, we have a whole bunch, but we are just concerned right now with the CSS code. So we'll add CSS code and it gets added to our list. And if we click edit, we'll get our CSS code editor. Like the HTML editor, it will color code our text for us. In this case, we want to include some styling for our link. Before we do that, we need to set up our HTML code so that it can accept the styling that we're going to enter. We click Edit HTML, and what we want to do is add a unique ID to our anchor text, to our anchor tag, so that we can then customize it with our CSS code. In this case, we'll add ID equals link, and Everweb has a secret variable called shape index, which will allow us to reference a uniquely any element on our page. So in this case, we'll add our shape index variable. So our link ID is now link shape index. Everweb automatically replaces shape index with a unique number for that page. So every element has their own shape index. In this case, we'll want to copy this because we'll need to use it in order to, in order to style this link with our CSS code. When we click OK, our HTML is updated and we can go back to our CSS editor. So in this case, we'll add a, we'll add our anchor tag, our ID, and we'll start adding some CSS code. As you can see, there's some autocomplete features and some color coding. In this case, we might want to remove the text underline. And you'll see that the editor helps us Next, we might want to add a specific color for our link. So in this case, we'll add color and we'll want to include a variable. So we need to create a quick control. In this case, a, a select color control. We'll give it a variable name. We'll give it a label. And our default value, we can set to anything. So for example, green or any hex code color. We'll click OK. We'll see our variables now added. And when we click OK here, our CSS code is added to our properties. When we go to our controls, we'll see our text colors listed there. And we can we can save our link. We can sorry, we can save our widget and go back to Everweb. Remember, we need to click another page, go back to our original page. And when we click that, we'll see that we can now customize the text color. Remember that the text color might be cached when you preview it in your web browser, or it might be set to use to the visited text color because we've already clicked that link. In any case, you could see that the underline has been removed and the text color has been changed. Now, looking at the inspector, it can be a little bit cleaned up and a little bit nicer. So if we wanted to follow standard widget interfaces, we can do so fairly easily from our control editor. So back in our widget editor, we'll go to our controls tab and we want to separate out some of these options so that it's more organized in our inspector. First, what we want to do is we want to add a label, a label that will be added at the very top of our inspector. So we can simply add a new control and drag and drop our label to the very top of our control list. We can add in our default value here. So this will be the name of our widget so users know what widgets they're using. And we'll make sure that our control width is set to 255, which is generally the maximum pixel length of the inspector. So this entire this part here is about 255 pixels. We want to have this set to bold so that it looks consistent with other widgets. When we save and we go back to Everweb, we'll see we have our anchor widget there. Now we want to separate some of these properties so that they're better organized and that the user knows what each one does or 
has a better understanding of what each option will do. So we want to add a separator and we'll move that up right above their open a new window. And we want to add another label. In this case, our label should have the same bolding. So we click the bold checkbox. We'll set our width to 255 and we'll add our caption here. In this case, it would be link behavior. Next, we want to separate our styling options. So just as we did, we can add another separator and a control label. In fact, it might be easier if we remove this and simply duplicated one of our original control labels. So I'll duplicate the control. I'll move it down below our separator and we can change our name. And you can see that it already has our control width and the bold setting is already set for us since we duplicated it. We'll just have to enter the actual caption. When we save and we go back to our editor or back to EverWeb, we can see that we now have a nicer laid out inspector with our options categorized within these labels and separators.